Hey guys, it's Tarko Cycle and FPV, and I'm actually working on a uh, drone right now that is using a Spectrum uh, receiver or transmitter and receiver, and I needed to get the data cable so I could update the firmware on here and also do the calibrations or do the setups on here. And so I figured I might as well guys show you guys what we're doing in case any of you all have any questions about how to do this or whatever. So first thing is I do will let you know that I did not have this cable. Um, it's a USB to data cable. Now I'm going to open this one up and make them because it looks like there's nothing to it, but I did not have it on hand at the time and I did not know how to set the pins up for it. Uh, but I will take this apart now and go ahead and do that. But um, I did get this on Amazon and I'll post a link there just in case, but I should have these available on our site soon. Uh, the other thing is I'm using the DXE, okay, which is about a $99 controller. Um, it's okay. I mean, I, I don't like that I have to uh, plug it in to do what I needed to do on it. I found it a little bit flimsy, uh, but it serves the purpose. And for this case, I'm gonna knock this out for the customer. So let me show you what we're working with here. Uh, here, let me see if I can get all this on camera. And I'm definitely going to show you on the screen what we're doing. So let's zoom in here. Do it just like that. And so I know you guys can't see what I'm doing here, but hold on a second. And I'll be showing you here shortly. I get this stupid computer to work. Okay, so here's what we've got. All right, we're getting ready to configure this up. Now I disconnected the TBS uh, VTX. What's up? Sorry, uh, it was about the flight, but it's okay. Okay, all right. All right, babe. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this going and then we're gonna use a screen. So maybe I'll go this route here. How about this? One, two, three, there we go. Okay, so now you've got three screens here. So first thing is, and I'm setting this up on our side as well. So let me go ahead and uh, open up our website real quick because I can show you, I think I, I think I set it up to be visible. It's not visible yet. Uh, this will be on our list too. You know how we're doing the Fry Sky page where you can start going there and getting all the links. Well, I'm going to do the same thing for our Spectrum. So I'm going to use this transmitter as the first thing on here. So you can go to our website. You'll be able to download the manual, what have you. But you need to go and download the software, which can be found. And the link will be on our website. But it's uh, under, the, um, uh, under the Spectrum page. And then here is the software. And I downloaded the, uh, the newest release uh, from October, 3.4, right? All right, so once that's installed, uh, it makes a shortcut on your desktop, which is right here. And I'm going to open that, and I'm going to plug the cable in. Let me go ahead and do that. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the uh, back of the radio, and I'm going to turn it on, okay? Now, you can see the software here, and it's reading the model like it says. Uh, as a matter of fact, y'all don't need to see me. Let me just make this a two screen so you can see more of the work that we're doing. All right, so there we go, okay? So here's the model, and I just titled it CFPV Quad, and I'm going to go ahead and plug the quad in to Betaflight so I can get that to show up and show you what we were doing here. There it is, and I'll open Betaflight here in a second, and I'm going to power up the quad so we can see the motors uh, spin and everything else. So let me go ahead and open Betaflight, and I'm going to stand Betaflight on one side, all right, and it's going to be kind of small, but I'm going to move beta. Okay, I guess I can't shrink it any more than that. Let me see if I can. Oh, I guess that's it. All right, and I'll put this here. All right, and I'll show you what we're working with, all right? So the first thing I wanted to do was try to get the switches and everything set up on the controller, right? And so um, let me show you. Oh, there you go. Sorry. You can see it now. Let me make sure that cable's okay. All right, so we're going to connect, and there's our quad there, right? And you can see the setup here. Uh, we are set up for, we have our spectrum uh, set up. And then uh, we go to our receiver right here, right? And this was the biggest issue I had was trying to get all these things configured properly. And so for that, I needed the cable. So here's the cable here. And I'm gonna go to my channel setup. And as you can see here, um, you have your options to do your sub trims and to do your max and mins. And so I'll give you an example. We'll take throttle, for example. Let's just start with throttle, okay? So here's my throttle stick right here, all right? And um, if I want to uh, make this, just take it to zero or take it to maximum min, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go to 150, all right? And then I'm gonna go to 150. And I'm gonna remove the link because the link means that every time I raise one, I lower one in equal in intervals. I don't wanna do that, right? So I'm gonna remove the link and now I'm gonna say, okay, my minimum throttle value is, nine, is 988 and it needs to be at 1,000, let's say. So I'm gonna keep dropping my minimum right here. And every time you do that, it is going to lose a connection. So you have to kind of be careful a second, just give it a second to do this. Okay, and let me see. 
All right, let me go down a little bit. One more. And it's going to be close. It'll be, it'll be right around it. Like I said, it's going to drop it. And there it is. About 1,002. I'll take it. All right. Now, let me go all the way to maximum. And I'm at 2,011. So I'm going to drop my maximum down. Whoops, that's too much. And we'll see where it stops. Okay. So it's going to redo itself. It's 2006. Let's go down again. 2003. And I'll take it out. 1999. Now, wait for it. It's going to drop again real quick. There it goes. And it comes back up. Now, so that's set. And now, if I go to my sub trim, and I'm just gonna guess on this one. There's the middle, and it says I'm at 1502. I really don't have to mess with anything, but I would click this here, right? So if I want a sub trim to go lower, I would click it lower, and if I want to go higher, I would click it higher. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it because I don't see any issues. So this is what I've done for all the channels, and so they're all pretty much in range. They are bouncing a little bit, um, and honestly, I've tried to get these as close as I can. Uh, so let me see, I believe on this, me see okay so 2007 and I'm gonna drop this down and then I'm gonna come over here I have to wait for the reset and I'm gonna drop this down whoops go up I mean and because this is reversed as you can see here it's reversed so I have to kind of go in the reverse order but don't worry about that just move them until you get where you need to be all right so I'm, I'm right in range of where I want to be here 1515 15. Uh, let's see so I'm going to make sure I've got that. Okay, so I'm at 1004. I'm going to click it down. That's going to reset itself. So let me see where I'm at. 1008. I need to go up. There we go. 1001. And then if I go to my maximum, I'm going to come down. And let's see. It's going to turn, reset itself. Let's see where we're at. We are at 99. I'll take it. Okay. And so our sub trim is pretty set. Um, I'll go ahead and maybe give this one more percent to 1500, but it's still going to fluctuate. So when I see it bouncing that much, I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm just going to say my dead band will keep it at like, um, oh, I don't know. We'll give it a four. That means anything within four of the number indicating here. So uh, if it's jumping at 1500, it's set. And then, because I've got my center here, right? So it's saying that basically anything between 1500 and our 1504 and 1496, any movements in there, just ignore them, right? That's gonna be my dead space or my dead band area. Now I am gonna change this to 1005. I'm gonna up that, that is 2000. Oh, whoops, 1005, not 1995, sorry about that. Okay, 1005, and what, what's the deal here? 1005, and what this means basically is if my throttle stick is reading above 1005, I won't be able to arm. So my low stick needs to be right here, and it is. It's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, okay? Now, I'm going to my switches now. Now, the throttle cut switch is basically the switch, and I'll show you. On this controller, if I have the throttle all the way up and I flip my throttle cut switch, it drops it all the way down. Now, it drops it to, to here, so I can pick the rate. So if I wanted to say I want to drop it to where it's, oh, let's see. We'll go to 130, right? Let's try that, okay? Now, I got my throttle up, and I flip the switch. Uh, hold on, I may not have that set right. Let me see. I should get full. Hold on, I gotta get this thing to catch up with me here real quick. this there we go all right so on my throttle cut I can I probably get it here um, I can flip my switch on my throttle cut to where uh, I get my throttle cut as a percentage right so here's my throttle and then if I flip it it's gonna keep it at a percentage of my throttle right uh, it's however you want to do it I have mine set to where it would go to like 1300 or so but I for this case we're just gonna tell it to turn throttle all the way off uh, if throttle gets if the throttle switch gets hit then it'll drop it all the way down, all right? And then you can kick it back on immediately. Um, as far as everything else goes, now we're gonna set up our, our flight modes and everything else. So I've got our flight mode switch set to the FM switch here, which is what it looked like it came from uh, where he bought this from. And so we've got that set, but you do still wanna go to your channels here and you can see them here. So you have your gear channel and this is, uh, where is it? You have one labeled, I believe, let me see. I have my auxiliary one, which is right here okay and if you watch the screen 
there's my auxiliary run set and that's my arming set, right? So if you go to my, uh, where am I at? Right here, on my auxiliary one, and that's gonna be my flight mode switch. And it's called gear, but I just have it switched, flipped as my flight mode switch. So when I click that, that's actually gonna, this is right here gonna be my arming switch, okay? Uh, and so it's no longer gonna be like if I'm flying in Horizon or Acro, this is just gonna be whether I arm or disarm, okay? And then I can come over to auxiliary two and auxiliary two right here, which is my rate switch, that's gonna now be, I think I have that set up for, let me see, let me go to my modes. And we have, this is my arm, and I believe that this three-way switch is my modes, which is called flaps on here, but it doesn't matter. And then I believe this is my fail safe. Yep, so that's my fail safe right there, okay? Uh, and so if you look at these, you're gonna see exactly what we've got here. Our rates is going to be our fail safe. And if, uh, let me see, what else did we set up? We set up our flight mode here, all right, which is going to be our flaps. It's labeled as flaps on here. Uh, and then let me see what else I got. Whoops, I didn't mean to change this. Now I'm changing everything, so that's not good. Let me go back in. I realize now what I've done here. So um, let me. Make sure that I got my switch. And I just realized that as I'm scrolling with the scrolling button, it's changing my values here. So now I have to go back and get this done. So let me see where I'm at. We're gonna change this to zero. And we're gonna change this to FM switch. And there we go. All right, so that's how we're gonna, that's our, and this is in reverse. And that's our, uh, that is going to be our arming switch right here, okay? And then on, on our, um, make sure I have this one right, on our rate switch, which is here, this should be our fail safe. So I'll go down to our fail safe, and it is. And then on our mode switch, right here, which is called flaps on here, uh, we are going to have it set up to handle our horizon. And then we have our air mode, and then we just have acro without air. And that pretty much does it. And I know that's a pretty quick way to look at it, but there you go. Everything there is done. So you can see flap switch here. And in some of these, you're gonna have to reverse them. The way I do it is I reverse them because I like my switches when they're down to have full value and when they're up to have a zero value. Uh, but anyways, that's it. So this is how you set it up. Uh, and once you're done with that, you can just basically close out. Um, and that's it, this system is ready to go. Now, if you wanna see it work, and I hope, I know that was kind of a weird way to do this video, but it's really not much to it because the software is pretty basic. Uh, so let me just click save here real quick. I'm going to go to my motors. I'm going to activate it so I can arm it with the remote. And there we go. Okay, our motors are running. And then I can switch my mode. Okay. And then here's my fail safe. There it is. And that's it. Everything else is perfect. So arm. Whoops, let me straighten this out. Arm, my mode, and then fail safe. All right, and everything else looks good. And then we have our throttle cut. Let's reset that. And then that would, um, that would hit our, as, as you can see, if I flip the throttle cut off, I got throttle, there it goes. Perfect, okay, then we just turn that off. So there you go, that's it guys, I hope that helps. I know it's a, like I said, it's a pretty basic video, but it was pretty simple on, on setting up. I just, I didn't like it that much as far as I thought that there should be more features with it, but hey, it works. It's going to be good. And you can use the same cable for the other, like the Spectre, I think the DX4 maybe, I think, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, there you go. If you have any questions, hit me up. Uh, make sure to always, uh, what is that? Like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and feel free to email me on my email address. Uh, target cycle at fbv.com if you don't need any of that then listen safe flying god bless make sure to spend time with your family guys and uh, we'll see you soon talk to you later bye